What's up guys, I'm Thomas FC Evan and welcome back to the Football Talk video where I will talk about Liverpool's transfer window as a whole and how we needed to strengthen the team even more and I will give you my opinion but I want to hear your opinion. Do you think Liverpool did enough in the transfer window? Leave a comment and if you are a fan, another club's fan watching from the outside, do you, do you think Liverpool are serious challengers for the top four? Or are we still short? Let me know in the comments below. We signed some brilliant attacking players, Benteke, Firmino um, and uh, James Milner and Danny Ings as well and Origi coming back from his loan. So in terms of attacking players, I think we did really well in the transfer window. It all depends on Rodgers and his tactics and how we can mold this attacking unit together. At the moment we are not really exciting, we scored only two goals in four games which is quite worrying but hopefully after the international break the attacking players will get going and we, could, we will score some goals because this team has goals in it. My problem is that we conceded 98 goals in the last two seasons and for a big club that's just not good enough. That's, that's like 49 goals per, on average in the last two seasons and just that's just in the Premier League guys and apart from Klein and Gomez we didn't really strengthen the defense we kept we kept the same four center backs that we had last season Lovren, Skirta, Sacco and uh, Koloture and why on earth does Lovren start ahead of Sacco when last season Sacco proved to be the, a much better center back Lovren always has an individual error in him, he, co he committed seven individual errors that led to goals last season. Seven! And this season already there is one in the West Ham game. And I knew just, everybody knew that Lovren will fuck up and do a Lovren, do a brain fart sooner or later. Why does Rodgers keep playing him? Rodgers seemed to favorite his own signings and wants to prove that he was right to spend 20 million pounds on Lovren, but that could cost Liverpool the season, that could cost Brendan Rodgers his job. He really needs to do better in terms of uh, organizing the defense and also why on earth didn't we upgrade on Lucas? Brendan Rodgers didn't sign one single defensive midfielder in the four years that he's at Liverpool, that's eight transfer windows. Absolute lunacy to think that our midfield is strong enough, especially strong enough, especially now that we lost Gerard. But before that, we lost Carragher, we lost Suarez, we lost Torres, Alonso, Mascherano, Pepe Reina. So many big stars, so many legendary players left Liverpool, and we haven't replaced them properly. Benteke and Firmino could become stars, Coutinho and Sturridge are already established stars at Liverpool but we need, we need more, I think we need a better defence and we need a better midfield, our midfield is lacking creativity badly. Yes, Coutinho and Firmino are very creative players but I'm, they, they are further forward attacking uh, on the pitch. I'm talking about Milner, Henderson and Emre Can. If one of them gets injured, and it showed, Henderson got injured, and already we are looking short, how on earth does Rodgers think that we have a good enough squad and it can't be improved? That's just insane, man. Like, uh, take a look at the Manchester City's squad. Take a look at Chelsea's squad. Take a look at Arsenal's squad. They have a much better midfield than Liverpool. A much better midfield. How can Rodgers think that we can't upgrade? and can't improve our midfield anymore. So we didn't sign anyone as after like July. In instead, of, in otherwise we, we signed Av Avonii and Alan, two really relatively unknown, the young strikers. And we sold Sterling to Man City and we haven't replaced him properly. We haven't signed an out and out winger who is really fast and who can get at players. Markovic could have been the perfect replacement for Sterling and get Sterling's place or at least get some playing time. And we sent him out to Turkey, to Fenerbahce. What? Why? Why? When he needs to get used to the Premier League. I tell you why. Because Fenerbahce paid the highest loan fee. What, what are you doing, Rodgers? What are you doing, Liverpool? Seriously. Ilori and Markovic. 
Rogers said when they we signed both that they are two of the best young talents in European football. And Ilori hasn't even kicked the ball for Liverpool yet. He hasn't even played an official game yet. And we sent him out on loan again, like three seasons in a row. And now Aston Villa have an option to buy. Why? Why? Why do they? Why does Rogers make these decisions, guys? We signed 24 players from 2012, from Rodgers being appointed, to 2014. 13 of those 24 players are not at Liverpool. They are either sold or they are either on loan. That's just, that's just like a player grave riot. Why? Why does it like, look like there is no real strategy, no real playing style, no real... Uh, character, <laughs> excuse me, I had to bring that in. No real philosophy. What happened to Rogers' philosophy of playing on the ground and the high pressing, high tempo game? We don't seem to play like that anymore. Sterling was sold to Man City, Borini was sold to Sunderland, thank goodness for that. Aspas, Lambert, Coates was sold. Uh, but I, I don't understand, especially the loans of Markovic and Ilori. That's just, that's just strange. And Monkeyo was also a talented young right back. We, we ter terminated his loan, and uh, I think he went to Italy, to Fiorentina, if I'm not mistaken. So let me know what do you think about this. I'm really, really angry because I don't think Liverpool have enough to finish in the top four it will be very close between Liverpool and Manchester United and at the moment it looks like Manchester United have a stronger midfield Liverpool might have a stronger attack on paper but if only that clicks you know Rodgers needs to have a lot of work to do on the trading ground let me know what do you think about this in the comments below thanks for watching guys stay awesome see you later goodbye